everybody, welcome to the Scented Heaven. I'm Heidi and on this channel it's all about fragrances. So if you're interested in smelling amazing, hit that subscribe button. And then I would like to share with you guys my spring fragrance haul. Um, I've purchased some great spring appropriate niche and designer fragrances. Most of them are blind buys. Um, let's start with a uh, travel size. You all guys know I love my travel sprays and uh, this one is the, uh, from the house of essential perfumes. It's rose magnetic. And of course for spring we need some floral fragrances and she's the queen of all the rose. Rose Magnetic is an Ember Floral Fragrance from 2018. Um, the nose behind it is Sophie Labie. And this fragrance is really a sweet and chamois rose. And when this fragrance has settled down, it even smells like um, rose jam. So it's rosy, vanilla, citrus, a little bit fruity. And the notes in here are Turkish rose, rose, lychee, grapefruit, vanilla, tonka bean, mint and cedar. It opens fresh and fruity. Yes, you really get that lychee in the opening. Lychee in combination with grapefruit. So this is really flirty and playful opening. It's not too citrus, so you really have this um, sweet smell um, already in the opening. And of course the rose, she's the main star in here. This is a rose fragrance, what, um, what the name says is what you get. Rose, rose, rose. Sweet, chamois, vanillic rose. So yes, you have this lychee, you have the grapefruit, the citruses. Um, after a few seconds, the rose appears. A delicious, modern, girly rose. Heavenly. One of the best rose-dominated fragrances I've ever smelled. This is really gorgeous. Dream of a rose fragrance. The only issue I have with this perfume, it dries down pretty sweet on my skin, at least on my skin, it becomes so sweet, it's all, um, sometimes it's too much. So I really um, enjoy wearing this fragrance, but sometimes it's too sweet for me. Uh, Frequentica describes this fragrance as tropical and aromatic. Um, I'm not sure about that. I don't really get tropical or aromatic um, vibes or notes. <laughs> I get the greenness, a little bit of green, um, green parts of the rose. It's a fresh rose um, or the, the mint note makes perhaps this green uh, feeling. But <clears throat> it's not aromatic to me. So I don't get aromatic notes and I don't know what is tropical in this fragrance. So to me, this is like rose Jam. It's sweet, it's vanillic, you get that vanilla and the tonka. Yes, it's really a fluty, a little bit of the citruses. Um, they stay for about half an hour. You get the lychee, this fruity um, opening, lychee and grapefruit. But maybe this is what makes the tropical opening. But during the wear, it doesn't have a tropical feeling, so it's more a classy but modern rose. A classy, modern, sweet rose. You can wear this fragrance for the whole year. I think this is really that classy, pleasant, playful, little bit girly rose fragrance. A young, modern, but realistic rose. Um, this fragrance should be unisex. Not in my opinion. I think it's too sweet for a man. This is a women's fragrance for me. Longevity is about five to six hours. Um, you get a big sillage uh, in the first hour, then it's moderate. Yes, really lovely rose fragrance. So I would say this one is a perfect successful blind buy, perfect spring appropriated fragrance but i think for the whole year day to night 
this really is a versatile rose fragrance in my opinion. Great one, Essential Perfumes a Rose Magnetic. My next fragrance is also a floral fragrance, a floral fruity fragrance um, from 2020. It's from Löwe Aura, the Aura line, and it's called Pink Magnolia. And look at this stunning bottle. So this is a wooden lid, so this is really wood. And it's painted with gold. And this fragrance, I haven't bought this spring now. I bought it last spring, last year. And um, I'm always searching for a great magnolia fragrance for the spring. And magnolia, the note of magnolia is the most time fresh, um, a fresh and citrus floral note. But I want a creamy, deep magnolia note. So, and... Yes, so this uh, fragrance was described like creamy, deep, fruity um, from the notes. So the notes in here are magnolia, rare fruits, musk and sandalwood. So I thought this would be a gorgeous magnolia fragrance. It arrived, I sprayed it and all I got was pencil shape. Nothing else. Pencil shape, heavy. <sighs> heavy pencil shape and nothing else. Um, I put it away in a basket in the last corner <laughs> and forgot about it. And this spring now I was searching for my spring fragrance to present them to you. And then there was pink magnolia, of course. I put it here and I tried it again. And here it was, the gorgeous magnolia. Creamy, not really creamy, but a deep, intense magnolia not citrusy not fresh so this is really a pink magnolia you get what the name says so this is a fruity floral fragrance with a lot of musk and woody nuances it opens with a, a sweet juicy um, with this bunch of mixed red, red fruits so there are red fruits like red currants, strawberry, raspberry. I think the red currant is dominated in here, but this is a bunch of mixed red fruits. And you really get this feeling of the color pink, but not only in the opening. So the fruits you get more in the opening, but this color pink. I'm thinking of the color pink the whole way with this fragrance. It's always there when I wear it. So the sweetness and juiciness settles and a smooth and waxy magnolia appears. And the whole fragrance is covered with musk. And there is a warm sandalwood base, um, which is not creamy, but also not dry. So this is not a dry sandalwood, not a really creamy sandalwood, but you get this woody feeling. It has this... Um, in combination with the magnolia, this more this waxy consistency, um, but it makes the, the perfume smell rich and smooth. It's smooth, but not really creamy. Smooth and rich, and I get this waxy consistency. The first half of an hour, this fragrance is quite girly. You get this red fruits. It's fruity, girly, playful. And when it dries down, you're left with an elegant and natural, less sweet magnolia green. So this is really a dream of a magnolia fragrance, a pink magnolia, not the white magnolia. So she's pink. Pink magnolia is made for the lovers of magnolia. So if you're not a floral lover and not into this special note, it may be too boring for you. But for me, <laughs> It's a lover of floral fragrances and I was searching and searching for a creamy, for an intense magnolia, not the citrusy fresh one. So I really love this fragrance. I have to, tr um, to try it, to play around with it now. So I don't get the pencil shape anymore. I think the perfume was too new. It was new filled in the bottle and it hasn't settled. 
and the ingredients um, haven't sat down so I think it, it has to settle and um, yes now it's perfect so longevity is about six to seven hours. You get a moderate to strong sillage and this fragrance contains 20% perfume oil. So this is really not the thin or fresh floral perfume. You really get this waxy and rich um, texture with this perfume. So your pink experience, your pink floral experience, Pink Magnolia by Aura Vivid. My next one. Oh, um, and I wanted to show you um, the other Magnolia fragrances I found. So, as I said, I searched the perfect Magnolia for years. I have a Magnolia in my garden. I love this plant and um, this blossom. And yes, there are three Magnolia fragrances I can recommend. And this, the J'adore. Um, this is the Absolute one. Dio, J'adore, Absolute and Magnolia Rosé from Maison Lancôme. So these three perfumes are my, my favorite Magnolia perfumes for now. If you know great Magnolia perfumes, tell me in the comments. I would like to know. <laughs> there are better ones out there, but for now these three are mine. My next fragrance um, this was also a blind buy, Amber Musk by Aaron Lauder. So this is what the bottle looks like. So this is a really nice presentation. Um, you have the cap with this mama. Really nice. So I love this bottle. Um, I always wanted to uh, try one of these fragrances. Um, I couldn't get a tester or test them in stores, so um, and I didn't know what fragrance shall I try. And um, yes, I get a great price on this on this one and the notes in here, which are ambroxan, musk, benzoin, coconut, rose, sandalwood, and lily of the valley. I thought this is really uh, from the notes for me. So I like I like coconut, I adore sandalwood, I love my rose fragrances and I love musk. So this is an amber floral fragrance. It's an older one. Um, it's from 2013. And this is really a clean musk fragrance. So it's not, not about the florals and the coconut. So this is heavy musk clean 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 musky musky fragrance so i'm not sure about this it uh, smells like clean laundry at least to my nose so i have to play around with this fragrance i want to get more of the broxen the coconut the rose the sandalwood the lily of the valley so i'm curious about if I get more notes in here, when I wear it more. But for the time now, this is really the cleanest musk fragrance I've smelled till now. And yes, when I spray this perfume, let us spray it. It opens fresh and fruity. You get a little bit of fresh, fruity feeling to it. There are no fruits listed in the notes here, but it's not citrusy, it's fresh and it has a sweet fruity nuance in the opening. So this is what I get the first second, so really pleasant. So I was so happy when I sprayed it, I saw the bottle, I fell in love with this bottle. I sprayed it, I got this happy, sunny, bright, fresh, fruity opening. And then it dries down and you get the warm and nuances of benzoin. So this um, fragrance was uh, made to warm up in the winter month with this warm benzoin and this tropical feeling of coconut and florals in here. So this is the description I read on Frequentica. So the, this fragrance is more for the colder month to warm up. 
So, and you really get, when this freshness dries down a little bit, you really get warm nuances with the band swim. But I wouldn't call this fragrance a deep, warm winter fragrance. Not at all. This is a fresh, clean musk fragrance. It has this warm amber feeling, this warm nuances. So this is not, not thin, not a thin summer freshie. But it's not this typical deep, deep, intense, warm winter perfume. So I think this is really the perfect spring fragrance. It's clean with this touch of coconut, this touch of florals. And you get a lot of powder and ambroxan and this attractive sandalwood base. So this is the most important note in here for me. As you get this attractive sandalwood. So it's not really creamy, not dry. I don't know how to describe the sandalwood, but you get it. You get the sandalwood. It's somewhere in the middle, not not um, not dry, not creamy, but it's smooth. It's woody. You get the musky woody feeling. Yes, I get that. And broxan. There's the scent of coconut. Makes it feel tropical. I see I have to play around with this fragrance. This is really not bad, but this clean laundry mask was not what I expected with this fragrance. So I expected more of the tropical coconut and the rose, the lily of the valley. So this spring florals with, um, with a tropical hint of tropical feeling above it. Yes, perhaps I get it. So I, I will play around with this fragrance and see what I get. Yes, the coconut is there. There's a little bit of lily of the valley, but um, this also makes it feel clean, I think. Yes, perhaps I can, um, can layer this fragrance with other ones. So this is really not bad, but you have to, to love this clean laundry mask it's long lasting you get eight hours with a moderate sillage and i don't know but it reminds me of another fragrance which is called oranges Bigorares from maison lancome and there is also a powdery musky feeling to this fragrance i don't know where it comes from because it's not in the notes this powdery muskiness. So these two remind me of each other. They are not similar. So, but this reminds me, Ember Mask from Erin Lauder reminds me of oranges, bigger rice without the orange peel. <laughs> Don't know why, but it does. So now um, this was Ember Mask by Erin Lauder. And the next one, you will probably say I'm crazy um, when this fragrance is in my spring haul um, because this is Angel Share by Kilian. And as you know, I'm a big fan of Nasomatos Baraonda, the Extrait de Parfum, the boozy whiskey scent. And yes, when I tried Angel Share in the store, I was so disappointed. Because I expected the same heavy, boozy, extrait de parfum like the like Nasomatus Baraonda, but instead of the whiskey with the cognac. And then I tested Angel Share and it was so weak on my skin. I asked the salesperson, why is this so weak? She didn't know why, she said. Um, Angel Share has a big sillage, it projects, her, her friend has uh, worn it and it lasts about 12 hours. She don't know why it's weak on my skin. So, yes, um, that's because I haven't bought Angel Share. It was on my skin and it was great. But yes. I expected the fragrance, the same fragrance as uh, Baraonda, but with cognac. And it's not the same, they are not similar. And they are both boozy fragrance, but they are not similar. 
so you all know what this bottle looks like so this is this nice cognac glass yes i'm happy to have it in my collection and yes i bought it um, because i want to wear my boozy fragrance also in spring and barra on the sometimes can be too heavy for the warmer month so i thought i will buy angel share for the warmer month and now i have angel share and it's heavy <laughs> It's heavy, it's intense, it's long-lasting. Yes, with a lot of cinnamon. So I get the cinnamon right here from the bottle. So this is Angel Share from 2020. The perfumer is Benoist Lapusa and it's an amber vanilla fragrance. It's woody, it's warm, spicy, sweet, vanillic, a lot of cinnamon and a lot of booze in here. So to me, Angel Share opens with a smell of apple pie a lot of cinnamon and um, raisins soak in room so this is what i get in the opening i really get this apple pie note only in the first minutes it disappears then and i get this feeling with the <clears throat> the raisins soaked in room i always have them at home i love to bake and cook with them and um Yes, when I bake and I, I use these raisins, um, then I fill in new raisins, fill in new rum, and I always have my raisins soaked in rum at home. And that's um, what I'm thinking when I smell the opening of Angel Share. I get this, this apple pie with a lot of cinnamon and this raisins soaked in rum. Yes, the cinnamon uh, is prominent in here the whole way. So this is a heavy cinnamon bomb to me. And um, I don't get the praline out of this fragrance. So I forgot to read the notes, to read the notes. So the top is cognac, the mid is cinnamon, tonka bean and oak. And the base is praline, vanilla and sandalwood. So, and I don't get the praline. So I have the fragrance here. I spread it here. So I will spray it again to get this opening, this apple pie. <laughs> yes, here it is. Apple pie, cinnamon and raisins sucked in room. So this is what I get. Yes. And um, in the mid there is uh, tonka bean and oak. You get the woody feeling of the oak and I love when boozy fragrance have this um, this woody note from the barrel. So this is what makes a boozy fragrance. You have the booze and you have the wood of the barrel. This is perfect. And also get this barrel on where you get the wood of the barrel. Amazing. <laughs> so yes, you get that uh, sweet tonka. You get the sweet vanilla. I don't get the sweet praline. Not really, perhaps. Yes, so if you know there's praline in here, you can search it while smelling it. So, but um, I haven't thought about. If you don't know it, you don't really. So this is not a praline um, dominated fragrance. It's more about the cinnamon, the oak, the tonka. You get the cognac, of course. Ah, uh, yes, this great woody base oak and sandalwood are a magnificent combination. So you really get this heady, rich, opulent, gourmand and boozy treat with this fragrance. So I don't know why it was that week, but my first try in the store, so this is really not a weak fragrance. It has strong to enormous siage, lasting power 8-10 eight, eight, hours or more. Yes, um, this is a nighttime fragrance, autumn and winter, but I think it's right for the colder spring days, or I shall say better, um, the colder spring nights. So, yes, um, sometimes I have to say, sometimes I get whiffs of um, a even bitter sweetness. So I think this is the cinnamon. Sometimes 
it's too much so i hadn't the chance to try it or to really wear this fragrance i only tried it on my hands so it arrived yesterday it was out of stock and it uh, took some weeks to arrive here so um, i couldn't play around with it a lot but i've noticed sometimes i get this too sweet wood from tonka vanilla with the cinnamon so it can be quite sweet sometimes but these are only woods it's not the, um, the whole wear so for now there is not too much sweetness in here so have a look i will see how it, um, it is with the wear and i think my husband will wear this one too he also loves the baronda and he wears it and it reminds me the dry down of angel share reminds me of a stronger but you intense he from my husband so this is the emporio amani stronger but you intensely and this one has a similar cinnamon dry down so this this one also can be uh, sometimes a little bit much on the sweet cinnamon so and that's why um, angel share remind me of stronger but you intensely this heavy, sweet, intense, um, almost overpowering sweet cinnamon note. Yes, gorgeous. Look at this bottle, I love it. Oh, finally I have my cognac glass. I'm happy. <laughs> so, this is Angel Share by Killian. And last but not least, I have a better spring appropriate <laughs> perfume for you. And uh, this is Aromatics in White by Clinique. This is an amber floral fragrance from 2014. The perfumer is Nicolas Beaulieu. And uh, in my opinion, this one is the, the smoother and more floral version of Clin um, Clinique's Aromatic Elixir. Yes, I have this fragrance. Where do I have space for this fragrance? Here. Yes, this is really smooth and creamy. Great fragrance. So there is labdanum, citron, pepper and violet in the opening and the top. In the mid there is rose, patchouli and orange blossom and the base is of musk, amber, benzoin and vanilla. So a lot of nice notes in here. And you get this labdanum in the opening and the pepper and the violet leaf. So um, this is an aromatic fragrance, so people who know Aromatics Elixir will know the type of fragrance, so this really aromatic um, feeling and this one is a little bit milder, it's the milder floral version and um, you get this um, aromatic herbal spicy almost citrusy smell of the citron pepper and the violet leaf bring this oxonic and little bit green nuances makes it smooth and there's a lightness to this violet leaf this oxonic note um, bring a lightness to this fragrance it's oxonic smooth and light and um there's way more rose than patchouli in this fragrance, I would say. So it's not that heavy patchouli dominated. You also get that rose and um, orange blossom is only in the background. So I don't get a lot of orange blossom. That's more the rose. It's a rose and patchouli combination in the mid. And when it dries down, it's more about the smooth, um, creamy, aromatic um dry down with the mask and the benzoin vanilla amber so you really get this gorgeous combination in the base smooth and spicy musky also a little bit fresh um, it smells like a classy elegant um, dressed up lady so it's like um, fresh out lady she's dressed up in a white suit um, with golden jewelry so i don't see this fragrance on the younger girl but wear whatever you want um, this is only meant to draw a picture for this fragrance 
So this is not the younger girl, it's more the lady. It has this elegant um, dressed up and fresh, fresh and clean um, feeling. So I would say this is day and nighttime, um, nighttime appropriate. A year-round fragrance could be a perfect signature scent. Yes, this is really it's smooth, it's clean, it's dressed up, not, not that um, that sexy type of nighttime fragrance, but it feels luxurious somehow. Feels like you have your things together. Yes, it feels ladylike. This is the way it feels, like the, the lady in the white suit. And longevity is um, six to seven hours, so it has great longevity with the moderate siage, none of fanding. So you can wear this to work. You can wear this the whole day. Great. This is great. Great signature scent. Really nice one. Aromatics in white by Clinique. So, and now I'm finished with my haul. Um, tell me in the comments down below which fragrances did you purchase the last um, time? Did you, pur um, did you buy some new fragrances for the spring, especially for the spring? So I really um, would like to hear from you. Tell me in the comments down below. And as always, don't forget to subscribe to my channel, hit the notification bell and give me a thumbs up. Thank you so much for watching my video and see you in the next one. Bye bye!